Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new exciting video. My name is Greg and today I want to show you how to recreate Ben TK's Falling Leaves transition. He used this effect in his recent video where he partnered with Land Rover and traveled around New Zealand. Now if you guys don't know who Ben TK is, I'll leave a link down below to his channel. You guys can go and subscribe to him and go and watch some of his really awesome videos because he really does have some great content and makes use of some really good transitions. If you guys would like to see some more editing tutorials about Ben TK, let me know down in the comments below and I'll definitely get that done for you guys. Anyway guys, I've spoken just about enough, so let's hop into Premiere Pro and let's start talking about this effect. Once you guys are on your computer, you're going to need two clips to make the transition. Once you've found your two clips, place them next to each other on the timeline right click on both of them and hit replace with After Effects composition. While After Effects is busy opening up your two clips, head over to Google and search for a picture of a leaf. You're going to need to download a picture of a leaf that best suits your videos. So if your videos were shot in autumn, try get an autumn colored leaf as opposed to a green leaf, as this will just look a lot better in the final effect. Once you found a leaf that best suits your environment, Download that leaf and import it into After Effects. So we need to try and match the size of our fake leaf to the leaves in our actual video. To do this, hit S on your keyboard and scale it to the appropriate size. Once you've done that, all you need to do is duplicate that leaf layer four or five times. Then just simply place them around your video in the positions that you'd like them to be. Now we need to turn these leaves into 3D objects. To do this, hit the little 3D box next to your clip. If you don't see this, all you need to do is tap the toggle switches and modes button and it should appear. Once you've hit that, you'll notice that we now have an X, Y and Z rotation option. All you need to do is head over to the beginning of that leaf layer and set a keyframe for the X, Y and Z rotation as well as position. Now go to the place where you'd like your leaves to be completely off the screen and change the position so that the leaf is no longer in your shot. Now, just fiddle around with the X, Y, and Z rotation to try and create a nice falling effect. Try and make this look as natural as possible, so play around with this for quite a while until you find something that looks really nice. Now, a big no-no is to have all the leaves rotating exactly the same, because when is that ever going to happen? You're never going to stand under a tree and see a hundred different leaves fall in exactly the same way. Every single leaf falls in its own way, so try and animate each leaf differently. Whether it rotates a little bit more on the X, Y, or Z axis, it doesn't really matter as long as it looks different to the other leaves. Now, if we scrub through our timeline, we'll see that we have four or five leaves that we've just animated to fall along our video. Now we need one more leaf to make the actual transition happen. If we look in Ben TK's video, besides for the leaves that he has falling, he has one leaf that comes and covers the entire frame of the video, and then once it passes, the video behind it has changed. So to do this, we're going to have to import that leaf photo one more time and make sure that it covers the entire frame. To do this, all you need to use is the keyboard shortcut S for scale and scale it up until it covers the entire frame. Now in Ben TK's video, he is actually also rotating the leaf at the same time as it covers the entire frame. So we need to go make this leaf a 3D layer again. Head down to your clip and click on that little 3D box once more. Once you've turned your leaf into a 3D object, we're going to need to make it cover the entire screen. So what I like to do is I like to scale this up by hitting S on my keyboard until it covers the entire frame. Then I go to the X, Y, and Z rotation and I play with that just a little bit. Remember, we don't want to make this too complicated, otherwise it's gonna be incredibly difficult to cover the entire screen. So what I like to do is I like to change the X, Y, and Z rotation just a little bit so that it's a very subtle falling of the leaf. Remember, this leaf is supposed to be right in front of your screen, so we don't really need it to rotate as much as the other leaves. Once you've got all your X, Y, and Z rotation and scale sorted out so that it's still covering the entire frame, we need to now animate it to go from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen. Hit P on your keyboard and set a keyframe for the leaf to start falling. I like this to be slightly after all the other leaves have started falling as I think it looks a little bit better. Go to the frame where you want your leaf to have popped through the entire frame and gone off the frame and set another keyframe for position. Now if we scrub through our timeline you'll notice that we have a couple of small leaves falling in the background and then a big leaf comes and covers the entire frame while still rotating revealing our second 
clip. Now you could stop and export your clip there and be like, wow, I've just created an awesome effect. But I want to show you how to make it look just that little bit more natural and that little bit better. All you have to do is add the curves effect or lumetri color to your leaves and try and match the colors to your environment. Then I like to add a little bit of motion blur to all the leaves. All I do is I go to every single leaf layer and hit the three little circles close to where that 3D box was. Now you'll notice that we have some motion blur in our leaves. And looks like the leaves were actually in the original video. Now the last thing I like to do is add a really subtle whoosh transition sound underneath the transition. This just adds the entire effect, making it look and sound really good. By now you guys would have created Ben TK's leaf transition and you should have a really cool effect. That being said guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to smash the subscribe button, smash that like button and leave a comment down below. If you guys have any ideas on how to improve my videos, please let me know in the comments below. As we've been doing for the past few weeks, if you turn on my post notifications and are the first to comment on one of my videos, you will be featured in my upcoming videos. And last video's first comment was by Hopes here. He said, you got guts and confidence to be a big YouTuber. Thank you so much, Hopes here. It means a lot to me and your comment should be up on the screen now. That being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I post two new filmmaking tutorials every single week. So I'll catch you in the next one.